Yeah, good morning, sir.
Good morning, my, my dear students. Today uh, I am going to explain uh, two more concepts. So far, I have uh, completed uh, introduction to cyber security, Python programming, computer networks, cloud computing. Last class, uh, I have completed cloud computing. Today, information security and network security, and followed by the cryptography, application security. So, fifth concept I am going to explain information security and network security. Okay. So, this is the fifth module information security. See what are the concepts are available right now. Introduction to information security. Then what is meant by confidentiality, integrity, availability. And the components of information security, types of information security, principles of information security, and what are the layers of information security, and followed by the applications, advantages, disadvantages, challenges, tools and techniques. Uh, see the what is meant by information security. A set of practices intended to keep data secure from unauthorized access or alterations. So, a set of practices intended to keep data secure from unauthorized access or alterations that is called information security. So, Information security protects sensitive information, means about data information, bank related information from unauthorized activities including the inspection, comma, modification, comma, recording and any disruption or destruction that is called the information security. Information means Process data is called information. Security means to protect them, to provide security for the data. That is called security. The goal, the goal of information security is to ensure that safety and the privacy of critical data, such as customer account details financial data or intellectual property data. That is called a information security. What is meant by information security goal is to ensure that ensure the safety and the privacy of critical data such as customer account details, financial data or intellectual property rights. That is called a, the goal of a, Information security. So, what is meant by information security is not only about securing information from unauthorized access. So, if you are until unless you are an authorized person, you cannot enter the data, you cannot modify the data, you cannot inspect the data, you cannot record the data. So, that's why. If you are an authorized person, you can do all the modifications. Every organization needs protection against cyber attacks and cyber security threats. So, cyber crime and malware are constant threats to anyone with an internet presence and a data breaches or time consuming and expensive. Internet presence, internet means network of networks and the data breaches some activities and uh, cyber uh, data breaches is nothing but cyber crime or cyber uh, attack malicious attack so or uh, time consuming and the expense so these are the cyber crime and malware are two constant threats we see the difference between information security and cyber security. 
anything involving security of information or information systems regardless of real time. So cyber security, anything security related in the cyber real time. Anything security related, whereas uh, anything involving security of information in real time, that is called uh, information security. Information means processing data. Security means providing security for the data. Mm -hmm. So, information security protects sensitive information from unauthorized activities, including inspection, modification, recording, and any disruption or destruction. The goal is to ensure the safety and privacy of critical data, such as customer account details, that is called sensitive data, financial data, or intellectual property, that is called. Uh, that is called information security. Then uh, what are the principles of information security? There are uh, three types of uh, principles. Principles of security, information security, CIA, TRIA, confidentiality, integrity, availability. Other than these, non-repudiation, authenticity and accountability are the other principles. See the uh, services of information security. There are uh, three types of uh, information security goals. So what is the goal of information security? So see Hello? the computer security and network security. Yeah, big sure. Automated tools for protecting no. information on the computer. Sure why computer not security measures, no. network security measures to protect data during their transmission on the network. So both are providing services to the information security. So information security goal is based on the computer security service and the network security service. So threats to information security, there are three types of threats. Threats, software attacks and malware. So information security is not only about securing information from unauthorized access. Information security is basically the practice of preventing unauthorized access, use of data, disclosure, description, modification, inspection, recording or destruction of information. Information can be physical or electronic. Information can be anything like your details or we can say your profile on social media, your data on your mobile phone number, your biometrics, etc. Information security spans so many research areas like cryptography, mobile computing, cyber forensics, online social media, etc. So what are the components of information security? There are three principles of information security. The basic uh, tenets of information security are confidentiality, integrity and availability. Together they are called as the CIA area. Confidentiality is the one of the principles of information security. It is the protection of information in the system so that an unauthorized person cannot access until unless you are a Integrity means that data or information in your system is maintained so that it is not modified or deleted by unauthorized person. Availability is one of the Hello. basic information based functions of security management that are present in all systems. That is called availability. Oh, not uh, confidentiality means production of information, integrity means you cannot data. modify your data unless you are an authorized person. Is availability means can I share you one again? present uh, in all the systems. Okay, I will share so now. Are the link to just refresh and run. Okay. Security components, very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. 
see the diagram confidentiality means production of a <laughs> integrity means you cannot modify any kind of data until unless you are authorized availability means the data or information present in all the systems so the basic tenets of information security or confidentiality integrity and every element of the information security program must be designed to implement one or more of these principles together they are called as cia triad so cia triad is also known as cia triad cia triad is essential in cyber security as it provides vital security features helps in avoiding compliance issues ensures business continuity and prevents reputational damage to the organization okay bahi please come to the email id so the three letters in the cia triad stands for confidentiality integrity and availability cia triad is a common model model is nothing but simplified version of the reality that forms the basis for the development of security systems cia triad are used for finding vulnerabilities and methods for the creating solutions cyber security aims to protect computers networks and software programs for such cyber attacks is called cyber security Most of these digital attacks are aimed at the accessing the data, altering the data, deleting sensitive information, or extracting money from the users, or interrupting normal business operations, etc. The components of information security are confidentiality, integrity, and availability. component represents a fundamental objective of information security okay so types of information security while information security can be of numerous types the most commonly used in the it sector include application security infrastructure security cloud security Listen carefully. Application security is a technique to protect the applications and the programming interfaces to stop and identify bugs and other instructions, other intrusions in your applications. Infrastructure security is nothing but. refers to machinery assets involving computers servers data center communication system and the cloud materials that is called infrastructure security cryptography refers to the encryption of data to secure information cryptography is the process of mathematical mechanism to convert one form to another form such as A B C to one two three one two three to A B C or X Y Z. Cloud security. Cloud is a internet-based technology. Security is a the one of the issue for cloud security. Cloud security is a uh, uh, is a combination of data security, network security, and host security. These are the issues of cloud security. Whenever you are connecting to the internet. You are in danger zone, so that the how to protect from the intruders to protect. Cloud security is close to the application and infrastructure security, but it is mainly focused on cloud computing or cloud connected parts and things. So these are the types of information security. Please listen carefully. Application security. What type of applications you are using in the mobile or data center or server? How you are providing softwares or any kind of protection softwares? Data security. Data is a raw material. Data security is a security protecting data from the computer or server. What type of data level security we are providing? Network security. 
Network is a collection of interconnected between the computers based on the local area network, wide area network and metro parking area network. What type of uh, firewalls we are using in order to protect the computer networks? Then cloud security. Cloud security is a security whenever you are connecting to the internet. The backbone of cloud computing is the data center and the virtualization. Data center is a collection of high integrated computing servers at one place is called data center. And uh, virtualization is the virtualization is a technique or technology. Virtualization is the ability to perform multiple tasks in a single system is called a virtualization. The popular virtualization technologies are VMware, Hypervisor, Zen, Virtualizer. Then cryptography. Cryptography is a mathematical mechanism to convert one form to another form with the help of encryption and decryption key. Infrastructure security. Infrastructure means collection of computers in a autonomous computers in a network that is called infrastructure or collection of servers or companies is called infrastructure. How you are providing network level security, system level security, server level security, softwares. Then incident uh, response whenever incidents happen uh, through intruders like the cyber attack, cyber crimes, malicious attack, how you are going to uh, respond immediately, instant response, how to identify, how to respond from that attack. Then vulnerability management, vulnerability means errors or virus, how you are collecting the viruses, how you are removing that viruses, with help of various softwares and uh, tools and techniques. Such as called vulnerability management, event logging and the change monitoring. Whenever event meets some action, and whenever you are performing some action while doing the logging and the logout, that is called a uh, log based recovery management system. So, these are the types of information security I have explained. Application security, cloud security, infrastructure security, incidents response, cryptography, uh, uh, disaster recovery, and vulnerability management. So these are the seven layers of information security. The first and foremost layer is mission critical assets, data security, application security, endpoint security, network security. Perimeter security, the human layer security. See the first one, mission critical assets. That means this is data that is absolutely critical to protect. Suppose uh, example, DRDO data, ISRO data, etc. Data security, data means raw material, security means protection of the data. Data security is when there are security controls put in a place to protect both the transfer and the storage of Cloud is nothing but we are storing the data. Huge volume of data. Endpoint security means this layer of security makes sure that the endpoints of user devices are not exploited by features like uh, peers, customers, computers or servers. Application security, this involves the security features that control access to an application and that application's access to your assets. Network security means this is where security controls are put in place to protect the business network. That is called network security. Collection of interconnected between the autonomous computers in the fashion of local area network, micro area network and the wide area network the network level how you are providing security. Perimeter security, this security layer ensures that both the physical and the digital security 
protect the methods, protect the business as a whole. That is called the regulatory security. The human layer, despite being known as the biggest link in the security chain, the human layer is a very necessary layer. So this is about the seven layers of security and the tools in information security like NMAP, used for audit uh, information security and uh, Kali Linux, it is a tool of information security used for forensics and different types of security systems as well. NetSparker used to find accurate vulnerabilities in information security. Social Engineer Toolkit, it is an open source penetration testing tool designed for social Metasploit, used to find cyber attacks in information security is called Metasploit. Technologies in information security, firewalls, authentication and authorization, and with firewall. Firewall is a network level security in order to protect the networks related issues, threats, cyber crimes, etc. Authentication and authorization. If you are an authorized person, you, you can have uh, privileges to enhance or edit the data. Encryption is a process of converting one form to another form with help of encry encryption key. Encryption, encryption key. Plain text to cipher text. Then data masking. Data masking is nothing but you are converting one form to another form. Hardware based security. So for physical devices, what are the softwares you are using to provide security? Data backup and resilience. So data backup we are using data center and a resilience purpose we are using various security softwares. Data erasure. Once, once you are sharing the information, automatically it can do the data erasure for making the strong database in the system level or server level by using various tools and technologies. So with this one I am concluding the information security and I uh, will start, uh, uh, see only few students are uh, subscribe to my channel if you go to youtube the mobile phone type dr asad is in and uh, subscribe and whenever you are finding the free time you can uh, listen and uh, write comments on the video then sixth module is network security introduction to network security network and their vulnerabilities network security measures Intrusion detection and prevention system, implementation of a firewall, security information and event management, advantages and disadvantages, challenges of network security, tools of network security and the techniques of network security. So challenges of network security. Network. Now see definition of network security. Network, secu network means collection of interconnected between the computers, the fashion of local area network, wide area network, metropolitan area network is called a network. Security means provide the security for the data at the network level. Is a set of technologies that protects the usability and the integrity of companies infrastructure by preventing entry or proliferation within a network of a wide variety of potential threats. That is called a network security. It is very, very important because it keeps sensitive data. Sensitive data is nothing but bank related data, accounts related data is called sensitive data. Safe from cyber attacks, ensures 
the network is usable and trustworthy. Successful network security strategies employ multiple security solutions to protect users and organizations from the malware and the cyber attacks like distributed denial of service. So that is a best example for successful network. The network security consists of the policies, processes and the practices adopted to prevent, prevent the threats, detect the threats and the monitor the authorized access, misuse, modification or denial of computer network and the network access for resources. So that is called network security. If you see the diagram, you can find network security. So network means collection of uh, autonomous interconnected computers or servers or systems in a, in a local area network, wide area network, and metropolitan area network is called network. Browser isolation. Whenever you are using browser like the Mozilla, Firefox, or Google Chrome, Opera, so through that browser, you may get chances of attacking network level viruses, network level threats. Then data loss prevention. So how do you protect the data with the help of uh, uh, various tools and techniques? Then uh, DDoS protection, distributed denial of service at the network level. So you can take a successful network example, how you are protecting the data in the network level by using firewalls or tools and techniques. Firewall is a software in order to protect the data in the network level. That is called a firewall. User authentication. If you are an authorized person, you are entering into the network level and you can alter the data, modify the data, data recording the data, etc. Access control. If you are a valid user or authenticated person, then only you will get the access control permission. So network security is the actions taken or procedures followed to protect the computer network information. That is called network security. So network security is any activity designed to protect the usability and the integrity of your network and data. It includes both hardware and software technologies. It targets a variety of threats or malware or malicious attacks. It stops them from entering or spreading on your network. Effective network security manages access to the network level. So network security lab works. See the why this lab works specializes in security assessments. See, landmarks is nothing but we are providing security for the organizations or education or integration or monitoring and the instant recovery for a wide, wide array of patterns, enterprise and developers. So, wide array means array is a collection of same type of work. Security, assessments, education, integration, monitoring. That is called wide array of So if you see in the diagram, so you are providing a land email security. For email, electronic mail, how you are providing security for the email accounts, like Gmail account, the Gmail company. Google company, they are providing security for the Gmail. Mobile security for mobile, how you are providing security for the mobile. The network protection, at the network level, how you are protecting the cloud services of information. Whenever you are connecting to the internet, internet is a network of networks. So, whenever you are connecting to the internet, 
So definitely there is a chance of getting viruses or attacks. So how you are providing the cloud service application? You are, how you are providing security for the cloud service application? Then data protection. So data is a raw material and the data is a huge volume of data you are storing in the system server or data center. How you are providing the security for the data level? Then server protection. Server is a specialized computing power computer which is having high computing configuration. How you are providing security for the server? Then network security, see the what are the operations of network security we are performing in the daily life. If you see network security, a business network security consisting of the rules and the configuration in place to secure the accessibility and the integrity of computer networks. That is called network security. This protects them from the hacking, issues and unauthorized changes. That is called a network security. See what are the operations I am performing in the network security level. I am analyzing the data, analyzing each analysis, how many networks are there, how many threads are attacked, how many tools and techniques are available, and analyze how many threads incidents happened. Then you are according to that instance you are planning the data. Then designing, we are designing the, with help of diagrams or architecture. Implementation through tools and techniques or programming like Python. Then uh, operation we are performing, organizing training it is one more uh, operation of network security. These are the types of network security. I have explained the firewall. Firewall is a network level software in order to protect the data in the local area network, wide area network, metropolitan area network. Then email security. We are providing security for the email. Antivirus and anti-malware software. Antivirus is a software in order to protect the data from the system or server or data center. Anti-malware software, it is a software in order to protect the data from the malicious attacks. Network segmentation, network means collection of interconnected autonomous computer in the fashion of LAN, RAN, AN and you are dividing into segmentation means classification of the data or systems or servers. Access control, if you are an authorized person, you can have the access control. Application security, how you are providing security for the applications in a system or server or data center. Behavioral analytics, so the network level how it behaves at the system level how it behaves. Then data loss and prevention, whenever a data loss and prevention happen, what type of security measures you are taking in order to perform the network security. Intrusion prevention system, you are using various types of intrusion prevention system in order to protect the sensitive data. Mobile security, how you are providing security for the mobiles. Virtual private network, it is one of the network security. So whenever uh, in order to access uh, another kinds of service, third party services for my work, I am using virtual private network. Web, web security, whenever you are using browsers like Mozilla Firefox, Google, Internet Explorer, these are the various browsers. So browser level security we are providing, then we can put it as a web security. Then these are the types of networks I have explained already. So, so this is the network security life cycle. See the first step. So network security life cycle, so it provides a customized security assessment of the applications, internet of things, devices, vulnerabilities, threats and risks in your environment. That is called NSNR. The life cycle consists of seven steps. The first one is planning. 
So planning to quickly mention what type of attacks happened in the network. Then uh, policy enforcement and implementation. Then we are uh, using uh, uh, policies and rules and regulations in order to protect data in the network. Level. Monitor and manage as an administrator you are monitoring the server, how the users are connected to the server and uh, you can have the responsibilities, uh, you can create a user profiles and uh, user accounts and uh, granting the permission of the granting permission of the network level data. Intrusion detection, some intruders are entering into the uh, network level, how you are protecting that data. Then security assessment, what type of security incidents happen, we are assessing. Risk analysis is once incidents, threats, malware attacks happen in the network level, we are doing risk analysis. Then the last one, security policy and creation. So in order to implement the security, what type of policies and what type of rules, regulations, creation we are using in order to perform network security level. Then second concept is networks and their vulnerabilities. Network vulnerabilities come in, come in many forms but the most common types are malware. Malware is a, so malware is a virus. Ransomware is the best example for malware. Short for malicious software such as Trojan, viruses and worms that are installed on a user's machine or a host server that is called the malware vulnerabilities. Social engineering attacks for users into giving them personal information such as username and password. The common types of networks attacks you can take unauthorized access, distributed denial of service attacks, and the man in the middle attack, code and SQL injection attacks, legalize and escalation, insider threats. So these are the common network security threats, lack of patch management. See, uh, whenever uh, you have purchased any software like the Windows or any software. I am calling from Okay, I will take any coaching. Okay. Currently, we have an open side-by-side site. Completely full-time planning and having process. Are you interested? It's completely full-time online planning, madam. Yes. No, it's completely free of cost. Four months of planning. First three months, they have taken the planning and last one month, they have any project, okay? Hello? After completion of planning, we will be satisfied from BSA, which means data security concept in India. Sir, your voice is not audible. Sir, are you there? Sir, my voice is audible. Hello, my dear. Yes, sir, now it is audible. Yeah. So, you know, these are the common uh, network security threats. Uh, like, uh, if you see, uh, whenever you are uh, installed original software, whenever you are connecting to the internet, it automatically asks you whether you would like to add your patches to the existing software. Sometimes, that malware or virus automatically asks you please install this patch 
don't in, don't install such type of patches to the existing software. So that is a lack of patch management. Outdated firewalls means we are using firewall software like uh, Cyberog. Cyberog. Cyberog is a one of the example of net network firewall. Sometimes that uh, outdated means the license may be over or the license may, may be is uh, uh, within the certain period. After that, you need to again recharge or license of that uh, firewall. That is called outdated firewall. Insider privilege misuse means once intruders are attacking to the network and uh, once they enter into the network level, they are misusing the data. Lack of lack of data backup. Sometimes we are not doing backup of our data. Suppose you don't have a data center or any kind of a, uh, server, so sometimes you are unable to backup the data. That is also one of the threat, common network security threat. Social engineering attacks through Facebook, Instagram. Facebook also you can find many intruders are creating your fake Facebook fake. Uh, Facebook accounts, then they are asking the money to friends or higher officials, etc. Then lack of spam and email sending. Mm -hmm. So they are sending a, a group of mails to the public and uh, uh, even a spam group of mails they are sending to group of people to access their accounts or they are asking uh, you got the lottery, you got the price and uh, such type of uh, uh, threat is called a lack of spam and email security. Poor and weak passwords don't keep uh, uh, ABC123, India123 like that. So give a strong password in order to protect your network level security. Then uh, unmanaged physical devices, sometimes you are unable to control other uh, devices. So there is a chance of a common network security that can happen. Then uh, what are the vulnerabilities in traditional networks? So DDoS, distributed denial of service, Trojan worms, malware, internet protocol spoofing, intrusion, software related, management complexities. These are the uh, vulnerabilities in traditional networks. So types of network security, we have first one. See, network access control means if you are an authorized person, you are getting the access control permission to enter into network level. If you are an unauthorized access, you will not get permission to enter into the network. Network access control then uh, uh, data loss prevention. See, whenever uh, you are entering into the network level, you need to protect the data. Otherwise, intruders are entering into network, they are making data loss uh, in your system. So, you need to prevent that data loss. Mobile device security in the mobile level, how so you are uh, protecting the mobile device data like sensitive data or any kind of uh, uh, how you are security of the mobile device. Email security. For email also, we need to provide security. Uh, if you take Google company, they have created a security in the consumption of the Then wireless security. Whenever you are using Wi Fi connection in any way, so don't use a free Wi Fi. They are accessing the data in the Wi Fi wireless security. Other types of network security. Then the third concept is network security measures. Network security measures are the tools and technologies such as firewalls and inclusion prevention system that is called IPS that are added to a network to secure. Seven essential measures are the inclusion of network safe. Keep informed first step and educate your team. No other means of attack on the Install active virus and other security programs. 
make sure your system is physically secure, has stable security about the market. These are the seven essential measures are needed to keep your network safe. Then these are the top 10 network security things like be aware of phishing attacks. Phishing means sending the group of mails to the group of people. Biometric identification like uh, fingerprint recognition, thumb recognition, face recognition that comes under biometric identification. Password security if you are providing strong password with combination of uh, alphabet, numeric, and special character and uppercase letter and lower case Safeguard your data, mobile savviness, manage risk of things means uh, when the internet of things is the different collection of the time objects in the network is called into different things. How do you are managing this in the IoT devices? Keep the operating system updated, yes, you need to install working operating system. Stay informed of current cyber attacks, events and follow precaution measures. Psyops and a smart shopping. These are the top 10 network security things or measures. Then the fourth one is inclusion detection and prevention system. So inclusion detection system is a monitoring system that detects suspicious activities and uh, generates alerts when they are detected. See whenever uh, suppose you have a double authentication mechanism Suppose somebody is entering your, your account which is in other system, immediately you get alert saying that suspicious account, somebody is using your account. Please check this activity. That, that is called an inclusion detection system. IPS is an inclusion prevention system, network security tool that continuously monitors for malicious activity and takes action to prevent it. That is called the internet, I mean inclusion prevention system. Inclusion detection and prevention are two broad terms describing a mediation security policy practices used to mitigate attacks and the block movements. Inclusion detection and prevention system are designed to alert to ongoing cyber threats and the potential to respond to them automatically. You see the differences between inclusion detection versus prevention system. So IDS is a monitoring system that detects suspicious activity and detects and generate alerts when they are detected. IDS is a network security tool that continuously monitors a network for malicious activity and it takes action to prevent it. Inclusion detection system, IDS. See, first user and he is connected to the internet, network of networks. Then uh, we have a firewall. Firewall is a uh, firewall is a network level software. And uh, you have a switch. From that you are connected to the IDS inclusion detection management system. Then corporate network we have web server and email server. That is the inclusion detection system process. If you see the inclusion prevention system, so there is a user and he is connected to the internet. So internet is a network of networks. Internet is developed by world than well human. Recent is as we propose internet. Firewall is a network level software in order to protect network level uh, data. Then uh, inclusion prevention system, there is a switch connection. From that you have a management system and a corporate network. Corporate network connected to the web server and the email server. So these are, this is the differences between inclusion detection system or prevention, inclusion prevention system. So an inclusion prevention system that is called IPS sometimes referred to as 
fourth point, it is a cloud-based security solution and is used to define network security. To restrict users from accessing specific content and block various attempts to hack or get your organization information. So this is about the uh, in a network. So then uh, what type of uh, techniques we are using? Okay. What are the techniques of network security we are using? So if you see what are the uh, network security technologies like intrusion detection system I have explained. Intrusion prevention system. You can write here short, short form IDS and uh, you can write here IPS. Intrusion prevention, IPS, then biometrics. Okay. Biometrics and fiber authentication, encryption and the tokens, artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT, okay. deep learning, Internet of Things, cloud security, even blockchain technology. You can use blockchain. This is also one of the uh, network security techniques. So this is about the network security uh, technologies. So with this one I am closing the network security topics. So uh, tomorrow I will explain uh, application security and the uh, crypto. Those are the revised topic and after that we are going to uh, security auditing and the cyber forensics. Those are very small topics. It takes only one day to complete them. We report that we will start practical part. Then we, uh, we are going for uh, ethical hacking and mobile security. So with this one I am concluding two, two topics modules I have devised for newcomers and as well as the world students. So now I would like to invite uh, yesterday the only two students explain. Now today I am expecting the two more students. You need to execute the, uh, you need to explain your, your uh, assignment for eight topics. Who is ready to explain now? Concepts, first you need to explain definition, concepts, tools and techniques, that's technologies. So total 46 students are there, who is ready to explain uh, uh, 7 parts and 8 concepts in assignment. So total we have completed uh, 8 modules out of 12 modules, only 4 modules are left. So this is a corporate and uh, and industry material. And uh, according to cyber session, we have completed uh, four modules and two modules are finished. Only two modules are finished. According to corporate training syllabus, we have four modules left. Eight modules we, are, we have already completed and revising all the eight modules. And uh, we are going to start our completion of the complete practicals. Next March, Mar, uh, next February and March completely uh, practicals and the projects I am going to uh, explain and demonstrate. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone is ready to uh, explain your uh, uh, assignment? Anyone is ready? Total of 46 students. Hello, my yeah, please share your screen. Who's that? Manashwini. Ah, Manashwini, please explain. Share your screen. Introduce yourself and explain the eight assignments. Please listen. If you missed any class, is going to revive the uh, 
dashboard information, high level presentation, we can do the secure the backend, the minimizing storage of some system data, and the secure the data of the policy, the speed of the system technology is also the data security.
so the details uh, we need to get this marks uh, that is marks two marks two marks three and in the story name so marks one is going to get stored in marks start m1 and mark two is going will uh, get stored in marks uh, that m2 and mark three will get stored in uh, marks start m3 and the name will get stored in marks start m3 Uh, here I have used a uh, print of marks, so it is going to be the marks. Uh, and these are the print statement. It will ask in the console. It will ask. Uh, sorry, it will print the marks one, mark two, mark three, and the name of the story uh, by this code of uh, print statement. Uh, so here I have uh, called uh, student class again. And I have given the story details like uh, the mark one will be 70, 80, and yes, the object. You can explain. Yes, is the object of student class. Uh, yes, uh, yes, is the object of the uh, story class. Uh, so I have given the values for the and the uh, uh, marks which we have uh, given in the uh, details. So the yes, start. Uh, it will print the, uh, like, uh, the, sub the marks of three subjects and the story name that I will show. You can execute the uh, Google for that. Yeah. See, it will ask, uh, uh, we have uh, entered in the print statement, uh, like, enter the mark one, uh, like, uh, uh, marks one, sorry, marks start here, my name. Going to get uh, the value which we have given here that is 70, and for marks two it is 80, and for marks three it is 90, and the story name will be get printed as now. Yeah, uh, the what the uh, um, details which we have given using that uh, story object uh, that is yes. yes. What are all the programs you have uh, discussed in the class in the book of which you have given? I have executed all these two. Total programs, maybe uh, 10 or 15 programs are there. So, can you share those programs with your friends? So,
programs like you. I think uh, only a few schools have been published. Ah, yeah. And only a few students they are executing in the laptop. Why not other students? Please. You are using mobile, that's okay for theory session. And uh, try to execute all the programs in the laptop so that it is good for you. Okay? Uh, any other doubts, please ask me. Uh, Nayan, is there any doubts? Eight subjects you have explained. Eight subjects you have explained very well. Manaswini, yeah, Tejeshwini, you students are very good. Uh, definitely you get very good job. And the remaining students also. Uh, today obviously and uh, uh, they have executed practicals and we will solve, we will do points. So I will divide the groups and uh, you can execute projects so that uh, it will be very good uh, for you. You can keep that project in your issue, biodata. So definitely all the companies will look into your issue. Uh, that's all from my side. Any doubts? What about Diksha? Diksha, are you following my lectures? Diksha is there or not? Diksha, Agarit Diksha. Okay, you can also leave the session. Thanks for joining.